Oh yeah, you lucky people. Let's get them game rare. Back with the next part of Wizardry 8. Firstly, an apology. Last episode, the sound and stuff was all off because I was testing if it recorded at all, and I completely forgot to sort out the sound levels, so the sound. If you watched it, you know exactly what I mean. I apologize for that. Unfortunately, I didn't make a second save, so I couldn't reload and re-record with proper sound volume. And I hadn't realised the sound was that badly off until after I'd clicked the upload button. After the video had finished editing and processing and all that. Uh, Alright, well that's maintenance out of the way. I, have, I got some word of advice from Klaus. Good old Klaus, keeps giving me very useful advice. I hope I'm not mad with his name, I hope it's pronounced Klaus. Um, his advice was really? essentially where I've got my load for each person. Uh, if they're if they're carrying like half the carry weight, they're blue. If they're carrying nearly the carry weight, they're green. And if they're over, they're red. Turns out, if they're carrying next to nothing, like their carry weight's incredibly low, they go white. Unfortunately, at the minute, because I have stuff in my inventory and stuff, the only way to get the load down to white, which um, apparently affects the amount of attacks and stuff, I'll take Klaus's word on it. He seems to know more about the game than I do. To get it to go down to white. I tried it on the hunter to have a uh, to have a look on the ranger, and to get it down the white, I had to. Um, oh yeah, you can off spec in this game, can't you? I had to unequip everything he had and put it in the party's inventory. So I need to empty my inventory out, ideally, so I can actually. Because I'm carrying a lot of stuff that weighs me down. I don't know how much this stuff weighs. Not a lot, but I'm carrying other stuff that weighs me down, and I need to get rid of that stuff. These books might actually be weighing me down quite a bit for saying that. Yeah. All right. So, uh, thanks to Klaus for that advice. I will sort that out the second I get to a shop and I can safely. Let's just try and land any of these we can right now. Okay, and Mage. First class. Awesome. That's actually handy because that move does not long, last a long time. Alright. Well. Apologising out of the way, shout outs out of the way. Uh, I've done nothing since last time except test the volume. Tink to levelled up because I got in a fight to test the volume. I sense right. movement. We didn't finish the uh, the zoo thing, did we? Uh, I don't even think there's anything in this one. Well, oh, there's something in there. All right. Locked tight. Yes. I'm gonna have to buy knock knock spell just so I don't keep trying to use it when I ain't already got it. Although it's not even that useful to me anymore because I've already got 45% skill. Bad news, dead ahead. Are you talking about the things in the cage or am I about to get attacked by something else? Because I can't see my radar when I'm doing this. I can turn though. Oh, I can't see anything. There goes the tech secrets because it lasts so long. Let's get em, guys. I don't know why I'm trying to click that. I never actually get to. Right, now we need to hit these fast before they use their piercing pipes and stuff. Taken care of. Um, not before they use their piercing pipes, they don't have piercing pipes. Before they use their reflect, because otherwise something like this fireball would mess me up. Right then. That's right, that's haste. Haste isn't scary. Paralysis is scary. Razor cloak isn't scary. Although... I was going to say, they've got like 14 health, they should be dead already. Well, I can't hit them because they're behind the door, so we're going to walk. Oh, okay, we're not going to walk. We're just going to auto attack. It's not behind you, though, is it? He's right there. But did you wait for me to do it as well, did you? Stand behind the door until I click walk and then attack. Silly little nudie fairies. Let's grab all of this. Yeah, I watched back the last recording because I had them hard drive issues. Um, it's not quite as smooth as I'd like it, but if you were playing it, that'd be intolerable. But to watch back, I think it should be alright. I obviously will get replacement parts and stuff for my PC as soon as I can, but. It's not something that's cheap and not something I have the money for right now. Hello Crocs. I don't remember these being difficult, but I should probably be safe. Locked. Yes. 
Can't remember what that is. It's likely to be something for the gadgeteer. You get a lot of gadgeteer stuff in this town. It's probably because if you haven't taken one, or well, even if you have taken one in all fairness, but if you haven't taken a gadgeteer, this is your first chance to get one. In fact, your only chance to get one. Who are the other NPCs you can recruit in the game? We've got Sax and um, other ones that I don't already have. Uh, you can get the geezer from the Wapax camp, but he won't leave the camp, so he's not really a very good useful person. I say he won't leave. If you knock him out and make him insane or something like that, he'll come out with you. But he'll do nothing but complain after you get out of there. And characters that aren't supposed to be in the area suffer from like a hex status effect. Like they're just they're so weak. For example, if I take Vine to the dock, if I take Vine to the Rapax cat and camp, um, Rapax riff with me, she'll be useless. She'll lose most of her stats and just complain continuously. So I will have to let her out of the party at that point, or kill her, so she doesn't complain and then bring her back when I'm in there, or go in there set a portal, which I don't know yet. And then port back in there afterwards, something like that. That way you can get around the game's limitations, but. Go to the party. Shiny chrome plate. Yeah, I'm sure that's for. Um, is that reflect? That lets you give your party something like that, something really useful. Unfortunately, it also reflects heals. Well, the reflect spell does anyway. Well, that's that done. Shame we had to leave them two last time, but never mind. Where do you rubbed that room? Um, according to the radar, there's nothing in this room. Okay. Let's have a look at this one, though. Is it not in this one? Was I looking at the radar one? I was looking at the radar one. What did I? Oh, hang on. Let me just double check that because I may have got time around. I was looking at the radar. I might have gone the wrong way. No, I did it the right way around. I think. I think there was just um, really nothing in here. Nope, I don't like it. Well, if I made a mistake, I'm sure I'll come back. I was only being sure because there's blue marble somewhere here. And you need it for the, uh... Well, for something else. Try and stay away from spoilers just in case you've never done the game before. But for a quest later on. This is what I got in the fight. Well, in the doorway. Oh, and there's the blue marble. Which could be mistaken for, say, a, one of the uh, orbs. There's the secret wall. It's not as secret looking as I remember it being, but. It has been knocked. Yes. Nicely done, TB. It's called a slow poison dagger on stones. Nothing useful there. Poison daggers are cursed by default. Apart from one, you can't unequip them. But then, if you've got a rogue using two poison daggers, you probably don't need to unequip them. Decently trained rogue with a couple of decent daggers. Is pretty hard to kill. Right, that's the fifth bar, isn't it? Yeah. I, mean, I vaguely remember my way around. That's the fourth bar. Alright, let's clear the fourth. How far does the fourth bar go? Or is this the. I think this is the big area, isn't it? No, this is the dodgy magic room. But you can't use no magic, so we'll go in there in a minute. It's much like the magic room like the library was, where you can't use no magic. So what was up this way? Well, Madrasa's house is around here somewhere, I just, I think this is it. I couldn't remember if it was up that ramp or up this ramp. I don't know why I was walking so stealthily there, I got x-ray on it to tell me if there was enemies up here, wasn't it? I forget. Alright, we'll take that, I'll take the magnet. Obviously another gadget here item. Lots of gadget here items in this game. I know they wanted you to make your own equipment, so they had to give you like two for each thing you wanted. 
But it's just strange because they use modern weapons and there's very few modern weapons in the game. There it is. They say the radar says there's an item. Where is it? Look over there. Oh, there goes Max. Wee. There goes Max. Wee. See, unfortunately, turning with the um, right mouse button is much easier than it was turning with the keyboard. And I'm glad someone pointed that out to me. Look over there. But when something pops up on the screen, you lose control of your turning. Which is a bit. I don't know if you lose it every time or if it's just if you're running forward at the time. Empty bottle, which you used to make. There's a couple of things you can use empty bottles for. Gary sent you? Not Who's Gary? Too soon. He thinks he's oh, got problems he's on the front gate. Packs. It's nothing compared to what I got up here. Giant rats! <coughs> They're the size of, well, you! But now that you're here, my problem's good as solved. You ready for Operation Extermination? Um, yeah. Great. These will get... Why give me dust? Work. Surely by this point I'm not using dust anymore. Bow. We've tried to get rid of them. We'll kill off ten or twenty, but they come right back. So I used this telescope here to do some spying on them. And that's when I saw the fattest, the ugliest thing I ever saw in my life. I didn't know we'd met. Breeders. Oh. Big as a house, wide as a mountain, ugly as they old. Never mind. They're the root of the problem. <laughs> get in there and kill them, and the rest will be No, easy. ugly as they old what? I want to know the rest of that sentence. If I type day old in, will he tell me it? He might do. Just like I said. Oh. I, right, um. I'll spam his chat in a second. There are a few chats you can do with him. And for example, if you ask him about Buzz. A good friend. Now, Buzz was the, um. I couldn't find my way. The merchant in the monastery at the beginning? Not in the monastery, in the dungeon just before you go up to the monastery. I have gone to the effort of running him all the way back because Burz is a good friend. He has no custom text or anything with him. No dialogue. Huh? 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 Oh, hang on, I'm supposed to do this, and I? Just to make sure my charms is as high as it can be. This is another NPC you can recruit, but not until you've killed the ratters. Oh yeah, I resurrected Miles as well because I'm going to kick him up a party shortly and he needs to be alive for that. Well, he doesn't need to be alive for that, but if you kick him out when he's dead, they just permanently stay dead. They just become a pile of bones and spit forever. Yeah, I'll pay some money for the mook. So, you know about the mook, huh? Yeah, they're in the old town hall in Arnica. You ask me, they look like giant hairy trees. But listen, I got a secret for you. I heard through a friend of a friend that they've got some kind of special device in there. Yeah. They won't let just anybody in, though. I've heard that they're looking to make an alliance with the Umpany or the Trang. Or so, both. So maybe that's a good way in. The choice in this that game, is, you don't mind or one of the big choices in this game, is do you side with the Umpany or the Trang? You can sign with both. Sign? You could easily side with both. Eventually, yes. one of them gives you the quest to destroy, um, destroy the other one. Like if you're with the Trang, they actually destroy the... The Imparni and vice versa. Another way I can ask where Arnica and stuff is. Oh yes, I know Martin's bluff. Yes, where Sparkle went. The ump, ump something lived there a long time ago. We used to store stuff in the mountain caverns. I don't know what's left of it now that the umpa bobs are there. A whole load I of quests. Guess we should get on with things, huh? I'll tell you about the rap packs. Worst of them all. I once invented a rap back and I plan to get rid of every last one of them. Basically, the device sucked them into this giant barb canister, and then they <laughs> die. Uh, but in testing, all the operators got killed instead. Win some, lose some. Well, sounds like you got a backfiring mechanism there. Change the target. Uh, DS ball. I guess. No. He's not going to know him. Not going to know that. Foons Foonzang the father. It's something. He, Foonzang's like the main one of all the holy people apparently, because everyone's heard of Foonzang. So he's the equivalent to the first god or the main god, I'm guessing. What did I ask you about? Sure. It's Croc. You can find him in the swamp. Don't expect he'll just offer it up though. You'll have to get him inside even... first. Oh, right, Destiny Dominus. Okay. Don't you get that before you get the Croc? 
I can't remember. I know them, but not real close. Between you and me, I'm far more interested in what I can take, not learn from them. Yeah, I heard about your type. A good friend. You probably got a well with Biles. Alright. You don't actually have anything we can trade there. Although I can give you my stuff. Like the gadgeteer stuff is not really going to help me. But we Isn't way enough or anything like that. Alright, uh, that's all the items in here. Got his quest. I think that's everything to do in here. Alright, uh, back across to the fourth bar then, I'm guessing. We don't want to do it the fifth bow yet. I'm not sprinting because I don't want to burn my stamina out just before I get in a fight. Listening. Which is a point I should probably hear as well. Using the ranger, of course, because he's still on a lush 12 holy skill. Or divine skill. I keep calling it holy. I know holy and divine are essentially the same thing, but they're not, are they? A large blue indentation. I wonder what we could use this. Use here. Gig. Once you go in there, you can no longer use magic. While you're standing at this doorway, on the other hand. Taken care of. Although the fairies, if I don't kill them quickly, could you know start reflecting stuff at me. That'd be a pain. Right then. Hopefully, I just kill them before I get a chance to cast that stuff. Though. Very well. Just spam Ares, I should be fine. Well, if it weren't, my spell cast really went absolute. I know it's affected by speed. There we go. Apparently, we weren't quite in the range, despite so the fact that the camera pointed a straight hat, hat at him. There we go. So, unfortunately, some of these spell sound effects are a lot louder than every other thing in the game. as are some of the incantations they mumble but I can't really accommodate for them without turning down the rest of the game as well right are these wasps the ones that blinded me? when I was outside Trini Very well. or Twinton taken care of some well, we're just going to keep spamming Aries because we can't use them once we go in there anyway, so we might as well use them now. Very well. That was a bit low damage. Perhaps that's all the damage that he's ever done, and it's just always seemed like more. Because it's not like his moves is Oh, mind you, saying that his stamina was low, perhaps he only did part of it. I should have rolled a female bard, because then I could have given her the necklace. That gives you stamina regeneration. Males can't use it. I do like power cards, because it levels up on its own. Yeah, I was about to say, there's going to be another one turn up right now, anyway, isn't there? I know it's a single target, so I don't need to spam AoEs, but I'm preparing for if his mates join the fight. I was hoping to give you a chance, but you did no damage, so let's use your spells again. It's not that important to level up their range skill, it's just useful for in between attacks. Like when there's no point casting another spell, you just let the range fill them off, finish them off. What is it? TJ is. We need to heal people, TJ. Get cure all soon, and then, you know, job's a lot easier. Was that it? I thought more people than that got hurt. Okay. Um, is that all the enemies in here? Well, I was pretty sure there's more. Oh, hang on, I got X-ray on. What 
back outside this door. Yeah, let's silence there, so there's no magic, look. You bellowed. Get back outside the door, cast X ray. And detect secrets. Um, not you, because I'm going to need Ready. you to reapply X ray. Alright, yeah, the last one is left over there. Oh, they're in that room. Alright, well, I can do this, so let's do this first. You bellowed. Yeah, where's the incense? I know I had some. There. See, that might be what I have to do on the um, unlit fire in the previous area, but you can only buy four incense to begin with, and you need them for this. Well, you don't need them for this. It's this is not a necessary quest, it never appears in your quest log or anything, it's just to make the area safe so you can camp here. The spirits are not yet appeased. And then this one. Although this, I believe, only makes the area so enemies can't spawn in it. I believe the ones over there could still attack me if I camped there. You know, and they found a way of opening that door. The seventh bow. Um, there's nothing of use in this room, is there? But well, nothing you can pick up. I don't think so. Alright, um, I've had the game crash before when loading this up, so I'm going to save it just to be safe. I remember because I waited like half an hour last time for it to catch up. And now I've got a bit strobey down the side of the memories boxes. Unless it was only like that and I didn't realise. Okay, so uh, now we need to... Use these Zuzu petals. Am I supposed to use the potion before I use these Zuzu petals? I might be supposed to, you know, I might be supposed to be doing that the other way around. If I am, I can pick up more Zuzu petals. that we grow, I believe. But I don't think it makes a difference. No. So use the potion in the petals, and the shaman appears. Certainly, everything go black, but you feel no fear. Blah, blah, blah. Seventh yeah, first this time I did that, I clicked to use the potion, and the game clicked back to that screen, and I couldn't move. I think just stopped. Among our people. We seek to learn our destiny for many reasons. Curiosity, fear, hope, the desire to know the unknown. A plot to the game. Your destiny has been long foretold. You are the fabled third messengers. Here to play your part in the Ascension. Long ago, the Cosmic Lords created three artifacts all required for this event. Two have already arrived here on Dominus, brought by the first and second messengers. Your destiny is to bring the last, the Destiné Dominus, containing all knowledge of the gods. Handy, my got the the destiny, artifact you seek lies with a man named Martin. Your destiny's inexplicably crossed. You must follow his path of exile to find him and claim this device as your own. Yeah. It will not be an easy path, nor does it begin here. Instead, turn to Martin's bluff and seek Martin's idol and his words. Then, return to the shaman on the sixth bow. This is your destiny. Is it a different shaman, or is it you and you referring to yourself in the third person? Well, there you go. I let that one play out. There's the story I've been skipping the entire game oh, that yeah. every NPC you ever meet will tell you. Everyone else as well? No, of course not. That'd be too useful, wouldn't it? That needs to increase its duration a little bit. I know if you're looking for secrets, you're probably not that concerned about how long your secrets detection lasts. But as far as I know, it just boosts scouting anyway, because I've already got scouting equipped. 
Um, okay. So apparently in here there's two friendly and hostile and hostile people. So let's have a look. Oh yeah, I remember this. Look over there. Grab that item. I'll get this in a minute. This lot is no match for me. Hey guys, I'm not quite facing the right way. Hang on. Taken care. Just give me a second, and I'll be right with you. They were attacking some uh, trees in there. I don't know what the backpacks are doing all the way this far up the tree. Right there. How they found their way up here, I don't know. You can also pick up a holy book in this room. I don't know if it actually does anything. I can't remember. Very well. Yeah. Well, TV's probably gonna get smashed in the face here. There we go. They should be alright. I know I moved, but I only moved like an inch. They should still be able to cast the same spells. Uh, well, you have nothing else. It's my stab or insanity. We're going to get my stab. They failed the fireball power. I thought I cast green. Okay, apparently not. Well, I'm gonna spam that because I ain't got a mana. You can see how much damage I think because it's too tall. Let me drain him up a bit. Trying to save you, Trinities. Nothing happens if you don't save them. They don't have no dialogue or anything for you. And this, this doesn't anger the Rapax any more angry than they already are. Rapax start hostile, you have to change into neutral by becoming a Templar. Which you can't do until you reach, reach the Rapax town, so... No worries in hitting the Rapax right now. Oh, that'll do. It's not the best single target damage, but it'll do. Since it has the ability to cause fear and stuff. One of these ones will turn around and run to the doorway. Oh. There goes one of the trinities. The other one's got 40 health left. <laughs> feel a bit guilty because I remember saving them before, but that was on probably a lower difficulty where. Or I ran straight into the room because I didn't have x ray at that point or something like that, I should imagine. TB wakes up at the end of this turn. I'm on. Shoot at mana TB. Although he's got good mana regen, because mages and that have, are still not great. At best he'll be able to cast out rank one or two spells with the mana he's got. As well, take this three seconds to loot. Shield of the winds, two twenty pounds, but shield plus ten. That's a pretty good shield. I don't think I've ever seen that before. I may have. It's been a few years since I played the game. Hence this series. I need an excuse to waste another hundred hours of my life on a game I've already played. I said before, it's not a waste. Might not be the most productive way of spending, you know, equivalently five days of my life, but I'm going to an actual time. I'm paying for more than five days. If you go and, you know, count an hour as a day. Try not to play too much in one day because I find I oversaturate myself and I get bored of it. Not because there's any reason to get bored of the game, just because I've done it all before, so it's predictable. Sometimes you want something a little bit more random. I know there's no reason to use that. Experience is the best teacher. Oh, I'm 
steel gauntlets are definitely better than whatever someone's got equipped. Get the secret tome. Although I don't know what that's used for. I can't remember. It might just be information about the game. All right? Everything looks good here. Yeah. Okay. If you come here and they're yellow for some reason, don't try and talk to them because you'll attack them. We're gonna, we're gonna take your sacred tomb, mate. My dear, I don't think you would. Um, there's a hole there. I jumped out of that before to see what's there. A big fall to the bottom. Back to the uh, back to the jungle. So, oh, an unidentified spell book. Interesting. Such a big fall on the. In fact, it will kill your entire party off. Valkyries might survive because of the cheat death, but it will kill them at least once. Oh, yeah, I didn't loot that room, did I? I went straight through it. Right, scroll the fireball. Scrolls and stuff are useful because you can give them to people that don't have the ability to use that stuff themselves. But apparently, item uses can backfire. I didn't know items could, I thought everyone could use items. But I've had the uh, necklace backfire and the scroll now, and I? I think I had a scroll backfire. Alright, well. I was just using magic in there, wasn't I? Is it just this room you can't use magic in? Listening. Find out. Okay. Hmm. Don't think it's gonna happen. Well, I can camp here completely safely, so let's do that. <coughs> Get my mana back. Before we clear this last room off on the left. Mm, we'll pop back to the doorway. So you can cast. And we'll start with X-Ray. I cast that at such a high cost because I was thinking that way it might last a bit longer. The tech secret has that problem, not X-Ray. Sorry, X-Ray. That's all the buffs you've got. Ready. We'll have a fresh light. As I can't remember the last time I did. Awesome. Got a skill point from it. So I got up to 26 fire magic so far. I've just Damn used a light. Yeah, well, I thought you might, but it was worth a shot, wasn't it? Um, detect secrets. Full power. Does that last for no time? Child Blade. Uh, I regret that was be already on. I meant to cast magic screen. Oops. Do that nearly every time. Is that all of them? Um, no. No armor plate. There we go. And, you know, if Bishop ever levels up, we can do the party again. She needs 40,000. Um, Alright, we'll do this fight. I doubt we'll get 40,000 out of it, and then we'll level people up anyway. Because Bishop, that one fight she died in, I think, left her quite far behind. So, I mean, I can cast in this part then. Because I've always done these fights without casting. If I can cast then. Something stirs. Um, I'm with you. Let's try. Let's cast. Are these the hard ones? Yeah, these are the hard ones. Okay. Um, I should probably back up to the corner. Because this can be a real fight. Obviously, I can't wait click on one of them in that menu still. I forget that every time. Alright, uh, Guardian Angel. The Samurai. We need to find out how spells work. Fireball, there. Right then. Spells don't work. I could always sprint back to the entrance. Lure them back there. Ah! Huh. Do something about these wounds. Taken care of. Yeah, that really hurts. Guardian Angel Miles. Ready well. Okay. Yeah, so we're gonna have to move out of the way because I'm never gonna kill these before they cast a few of them. because I'm going to move. Although I'm not moving far, so I suppose it might. Uh, ice ball? Oh, what I need to do is see what the weaker ones, don't I? Well, that's really going to hurt as soon as I unpause this. He's got body of stone on, his current range is extended, his maximum range is low. Well, that's what... Oh, long. Okay, I read that long. Uh, air resistance. So, everything other than air spells. Poison and stuff, I don't really have any of them anyway. Right. 
hopefully this will lure one round at a time probably won't but at the very least it gives me a chance to heal and guardian and everything else you got to do to try some of photos I forgot this fight was a dangerous one not so much because of their health because you know health was scary earlier now things are all getting two three hundred health Okay, so two made around the corner. Hopefully the fire will stand behind him the first time. Maybe not, he might just walk around the corner in a second, but I'm going to take the shot. Right. Um, just keep throwing guardian angels on people. The mage. Heal the mage. I think you're about to get two of them, stop complaining. Um, Ice Ball probably does more damage than Rhythm Rocks does. I imagine Rhythm Rocks will do more damage, maximum level, I mean, right now. Alright, uh, Guardian Angel yourself. I do want to res TB, but I also don't want everyone to die, so heal Bishop. You can't do nothing. Heal yourself. Gotcha. Next time. What are all that red circles for? <laughs> I'd look into it, but Klaus could just tell me, I imagine. So. <laughs> Alright, um. Right now, Guardian Angel rank 40. Anyway. Might lose some of this fight because I take a big chunk of health away and I can't keep up with the heals. I could probably could keep up with the heals if I was turn based, but. We've been over that before. Right. Uh, Guardian Angel. Ranger. Unfortunately, she hasn't cast here on TV yet, so I can't. There we go. Alright, last of your man on the Ranger. Another ice ball for you. Last of your mana, Guardian Angel, and. Samurai again. Because, you know, they're taking damage off so fast, the Guardian Angel's not keeping them alive. Play some pipes, obviously. He's got 83 health left, he's still got over 200. Hmm. I don't know how I forgot about this fight. This is clearly a. Well, I don't know how I forgot this fight. It's clearly a challenging fight. Uh, so I suppose it's a case of either we rest or we heal. Get our stamina up because he needs that the most. Or we attack and try and kill. Alright, uh, Guardian Angel. Ready when you are. Guardian Angel for the win. Ready when you are. Ready when you are. Just because low stamina means you get knocked out when you get hit and stuff, and you don't want that. Oh well, Vi's Vi probably dead. Um, try and heal Vi, please. I just caught you as you were attacking, didn't I? Well, you're not going to get that healing until next turn, then. Instead of that, Guardian Angel yourself. Gotcha. Okay, so I'm out of frost. We're going to have to try with rocks. Still not enough mana to heal though. Um, not my stuff for you. Oh, did I give you a. Uh, no. Place and place for you. Oh, somehow she's not dead. Oh, typical, I just did it again. Like. I will go with rocks, but it did more damage than this does, and the other one might come around the corner. So, hopefully, the other one's not in the fight anymore. At the top, there's two in the fight. One I can see, one out, then zero. For whatever the middle one is, I guess the middle one's targeting. Ah, see, it was going well till he joined the fight. I'm not promising. 
Well, it's Bass Wharf. His hasn't. Focus, take that one, please. Uh, yeah. Well, so you're probably not going to survive this hit, but I'll try and heal that. Oh. Oh, dear. Well, we're going to lose Armadeus or Vire. I would prefer to lose Vire, to be honest. Although Armadeus is doing less damage than Vire. Armadeus is a permanent member of my party. Uh, another minor stab. Last of your men on fire then. Gotcha. Mm, that's more show, isn't it? Well, who's got many breezes on him? She went up. No, it's not you. Well, there you have got can elemental, that could have come in handy. So it's TB and he's unconscious, typically. Right, Ribbon rocks. Just need to take this. I start to chip away and I can't really do a lot because I've got no mana. I can cast rank 1 heal wounds on someone. Yeah. On. Uh. Miles, I guess. It's really point casting rank 1. Does it even do like more than 10 health? I don't think it does, does it? Uh, well, these are all useless now. I don't think it does do more than 10 health, so there's no point trying to heal him. Although she's now got enough to do Guardian Angel is dead. So I'll throw that saber. You got enough to heal again? Yeah, only one though. Alright, throw on yourself. I know I just had this debate. I don't know, that could be a pain as well, but. Keep hitting him, keep hitting him. You I need to level your spells up, so, Saber, so when I click on you, it's not a waste of time. Oh, well, they're both unconscious for some reason. Are they both run out of stamina, or did I use a move? Well, that's not a bad thing, obviously. I don't think I used a move, because I, I ain't got no moves that drain stamina, have I? Uh, well, Saber's a little too far away to attack, so we're going to move a bit closer. Typical, I was about to use TB to clear the air. Oh, it's gone anyway. Nice. It's a nice 44 hit there from TJ. Right, now everyone can attack. So, Saber, and they'll probably mess it up anyway, but everyone else could attack. Um, it's got to be done, isn't it? That's a relief. There's nothing as he would. I keep opening around and look. Right. Ah, how exquisite. Can I not pick that up? Lots of skills. No. Like I said, they drop an item you need for um, Anton's custom equipment quests. And they don't look drop them very there. often. Oh, yeah, this is the store room, isn't it? Loads of junk in here. Spoke sphere is probably better than what TJ's currently got. I'll have a look in a minute. Two chests there, which I'm not going to try and open right now. Uh, on the table we have nothing. Although, there it is. So I remember there being something over here. And the map says there's something over here. Then we have the safe. It's sealed tight. Which is deliberately yeah. difficult to open. This could take a minute. There's, you know, only a 45% chance of disagreeing with me. But eventually it'll lock itself in. You see, um, the advice class give me concern on the armour. Because you can see here, they've got blue armour class at the minute. Sometimes they'll bring on the green when my KO gets really bad. Or red if it gets incredible. Like if I pick up, say, a giant silver nugget or something. Something that weighs loads. And I did try and adjust that so I could get green inventory. But I'm guessing since I didn't take 
very strong characters at the beginning. They can't compensate for the party infantry too well. Because if I had like a like lizard men warriors and stuff, they got incredibly high capacity uh, carry rate because they're high strength and stuff, and they're incredibly high stamina on that. Come on, I can argue with you all day, block. I know I can open you. I think TB just leveled his lock and trap skill up, so that's handy. Okay. So close though, if I give up now, it could be the next time I push him up. When I say give up, I don't actually mean give up, I mean stop for a second, open the other things, level up, and then do it. With a slightly higher skill. Or I could just spam it forever and get my lock pick skill up. But that would be incredibly boring to watch, wouldn't it? Mind you saying that, this can't be that exciting. Lock in. Thank you. Well, that shows you can to open the chest, wasn't it? What chest? And a shaman's mask. Can't wear the shaman's masks. Lots of shamans, apparently. Trapped. Mm -hmm. Ready. And I don't have the mana to cast detect. No one else has it, do they? What is it? Listening. What is your will? Yes. Nope. You bellowed. Yes. All right, so we're just gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way. Ooh, an alarm! Ooh. Don't alarm traps spawn enemies on you if you set them off. I hope not, because I haven't rested. Ninja Garb. It's pretty good armor for a ninja because they've got such high speed that goes up to like 10 when you equip it. Obviously, no use to me, but there's only a few places in the game you can get them from as well, and one of them is killing uh, the Don of the Rattus. The Rattaka, I believe they're called. The Mafia. Right, um. Stand on these rocks in the corner. Please don't glitch me in there. No, nope, that's okay. Some things you're not supposed to stand on. Alright, um. Let's level people up. Miles, I don't care. Dexterity, speed. Yep, yeah, there you go. Shut the hell up. Okay, um, stealth, sure, because apparently that might keep you alive. Dagger, sure. And close combat, sure. I don't really care, Miles. Oh, my days. Alright, uh, dexterity, speed, yep. Stealth, close combat. I don't care about him, but I will obviously give him decent-ish stuff, because I need to use him at the minute. Uh, Vi. Let's go with strength and party still. Not party. Vitality. Because two reasons. One, it increases my stamina slightly, which isn't great useful. Two, it increases my health, and I think it inca increases carrying capacity a bit. Yep, as does strength, and due to Klaus's new advice, I'm going to try that out. I could always, uh, I'll show you on the next person. I'm probably not going to do it right now, but I'll show you. Uh, bye. We've got two choices. Divine Trap would have been handy four seconds ago. Um, you know what, Vi? I, don't, I can learn most of them via books. Fair enough, I have to get a base skill in the thing before I can learn them, but that's not an issue. Alright, we'll save you two weeks level 10 anyway. So we'll save them this time and we'll use them next time, same as everyone else. Uh, pole arm, close combat. You ain't even using a pole arm, are you? You're using a mason of flail, aren't you? Yeah, because you've got shield equipped. And divinity. Which increases all of our magic schools because that's our main school. Alright, TJ, now we look now we level people up like we mean business. Right. TJ. Vitality and strength. I know I need to raise your piety at some point, but right now, let's just go for keeping you alive. Um, three choices and you're level 10. Okay. So I need to level your skills up really, don't I? Alright, Divine Trap. Make wounds. Keep the other choice. Just keep it for now. I'd like to have a spare one just in case I get two offers that I could use. Close combat. Pole arm, definitely, because you did something crazy damage in that last fight. Is that 44 she hit for? That's pretty impressive. 
please by all means let me know if this is too frame rate to watch and I'll stop making the videos until I can um, get some replacement parts for the PC because uh, I'm watching my frame rates and it's now set fair enough it does this a lot when I'm in the menus but it says 12 at the minute which obviously isn't great that's for you lot though uh, for my actual gameplay it says 60 I, I don't actually know what it's running at because my set to maximum show 60 but that's what it says at the minute. I've run out of mana. That's not what I'm going to do at all. I got sidetracked because I realised I could. Yeah, that definitely don't give you skill using that after combat. It's hardly surprising, it'd be a bit cheaty. There's other ways you could cheat the skill system, but that one would be a bit blatantly cheaty. Alright, um, anyway, we're living people up on before I got sidetracked. Alright. Seba! Mail full per. We want dexterity because I let that get far too low. And sensors? Where are we going? Sensors right now or speed? Speed's armor class and attacks per turn. Sensors was such as close combat, critical strike, and dual weapons. I don't know how much that affects them, but I'm going to go over it for now. Because his miss rate is just too bad. Oh, I don't want any of them, Saber. You're fine, mate. No, we'll keep all three of your spell points because I don't care about any of them spells. Level your sword skill up. Level your close combat and your dual weapons, I believe. I know I can play and get. I'll just walk off that because I seem to be floating and getting stuck. Oh, yeah, you matched your intelligence, didn't you? Which is cool because it now means you've got power cast, which you can put points into in the next page. Um, since you matched your intelligence, let's go with. Speed effect spells, um, mages. I don't know. Right, well, we're going to give you a party, gives you a couple of spell points, doesn't it? Yeah, not really a necessary stat line for majors. But as it gives me um, two spell points for the first one, for the first two, I'm going to put two in there. Don't give me one for the third point, so I'm not going to bother using it right now. And then we're going to go vitality, put the last one in sensors. See? The class will only get one choice in. Look at all the options. And you could argue that, well, you need to level the skills up before you offer up choices, but that's not true at all, because it's got zero skill in that, and it's got plenty of choices. In fact, we're probably going to take Shadowhound unless... I don't know. Crush is good. Element Shield's quite useful. Although I believe that's a combat-only one, isn't it? Yeah. But still, quite useful. Uh, Noxus Fumes is quite useful. We're going to go Shadowhound just because it's a long-term buff I don't have. Although I may regret that. Power cast. The ability to cast a spell with such force that it increases the original effectiveness and duration of the spell and makes it more difficult to resist. Now, you could burn points into that. I'm not going to, because if you remember, he only learnt power cast in Trinton, and we're literally up one set of stairs and he's on rank 6, so I'm not going to put any points in that, he can level that up himself. I'm going to use his points to level up his spell power. And. Bring up the low ones or keep keep boosting the high ones for more damage? High ones. And I did the level ups in a completely wrong order then, never mind. Dexterity, sensors. Uh, four spell picks, no spells I want. I see. Uh, that's the splashing that can be useful, but I don't want them right now. Uh, we're gonna save them. I'm never gonna use them spells anyway, so there's no point taking the taking them right now. He's maxed his range out for this level. He's maxed his bow out for this level. Scan would be maxed if I'd found more. All right, turn his alchemy up. Well, you see, I've maxed his main weapon out, and I've maxed his scout out. Well, I've maxed his bow out, and I've maxed his range combat out. So I suppose it's been a while, but I suppose I can eventually put a point in each of these. Unless one of these helps more. Mythology? No, that's the ability to recognise. Don't do nothing about crits or nothing, does it? No. Uh, no. Communication obviously doesn't affect combat. Range combat does. It's no longer. He's not going to have a melee weapon because of the weight thing. He's never going to use it, so there's no point giving him it. Um, now we need to. I should be okay to rest in here. I don't think you can draw any enemies in here. 
because I need to open these three chests and um, not like anyone's on dangerous low health but if I hit say an alarm right. trap because apparently there's one of them in there everyone's going to get messed up so we're going to camp to be safe stand on these rocks to do it hope I don't glitch myself out and get stuck here because that would be really depressing especially since the auto save saves before you camp so I'll be alright there we go Oh look, well you got a perfect 60 frames a second camp screen, I hope you all enjoyed that. All that action and stuff in the camping screen. There is a trap. Did I just take this as someone else? I did, didn't I? See, I could do this. I don't know if you have to... No, you're going to have to spam a high level, obviously, because that leveled up on my third try there. To level our skill up a bit. But no one wants to watch that, so I will wait until I'm not recording. Poison dart, stagger scatter. Oh, and love an alarm. They seem to be very fond of the alarm traps in there. Perhaps this is where all the alarm traps I've ever made were sold to. Because I've never seen them anywhere else yet. All pokes pretty good, it's just got a really bad initiative on it. I know I don't need to use the top rank and get 88%. I am, you know, I'm opening chests at the moment. There's no enemies or anything around. I can always rest again. Ooh. Ooh, what's this? Stunner. What's guard? Oh, Guardian Summon's a big monster to fight you. I have seen them before. I think the game heard me complaining about the fact that all the chests were the same two chests. We all the locks. Left. Well, I'll stick it with chess. I don't think I've ever come against a door that's trapped. So, although it could be technically, because it's the same skill. And let me get this one. Another ninja garb. Two ninja garbs. No ninja, ninja trousers. That's a bit harsh. Heavy crossbow. That's handy because I was looking to equip one of my people with a crossbow rather than what they currently got. I don't remember which part of that one. I can. I say when I can. I could now, but I mean, when I'm not recording, I can spend 20 minutes looking for my inventory items and stuff. Without wasting too much time playing around. Alright, well, um. This, this bow is done. I think we should camp and then wrap the video up here. And. I think. Is she fully done? Uh, that's close enough. And then we'll wrap up here. I think that was decent progress. I don't know exactly how long we were playing for though, so. Although I have realised I could use the clock. I started at. 4.30ish, that's now 5.34, so yeah, I'll count that. I'll count that as an hour-ish. Alright, stay lucky, people. I'll see you all next time. Hopefully this video was a lot better than the last one, quality-wise. Please let me know if it wasn't. I will watch it back, but it's only going to look as good to me. So good to me, because when I play it back, it's a massive, massive file. Before it's you know, encoded and converted and all that stuff. All the good stuff. Alright, anyway, stay lucky.